So till now, we have done 20 questions by using two tables, right? First, 10 questions on only one table, 11 to 20 on two tables, right? Now, we will take one more table and three tables, uh, we'll see how to perform the sub -quarries. Okay, right. So, all of you, create the table first. Create the table with name EMP or employee. Create employee data. Oh, so let's take here E number or uh, employee number, which is integer type, employee name, where care of uh, some 20. Next. Company, which is where care of uh, some 20. Right. Next one, uh, salary. Salary, integer, and the company location. Company location, which is a uh, where care of some 20. And uh, at the end, I am giving the course number, okay, which is integer. To give the common column between uh, course data and employee data, In the course data, we have the course number. In employee data, I'm taking the CNO. Okay, CNO. Insert into employee data values of the first employee ID is uh, suppose. Uh, 10,001, the name is Sai. Okay, next one, uh, company is, let me take TCS, TCS, and uh, salary, for example, 20,000, 20,000. Company location is uh, Hyderabad, Hyderabad. And uh, the CNO I'm taking here. So we can take the same names or different names. Size is there.
different names guys let us type the different names the text in first So we'll do one thing, guys. Here, from this table, all of observe here. From this table, if you don't take the employee name, just remove the employee name. Just observe now. If you remove the employee name, suppose here Sai is not there. Imagine, right? Now, ten thousand one. TCS and uh, 20,000 Hyderabad, okay, 1,001. Now, who is working TCS? Suppose imagine now, here SAI is not there, right? Please move inside. Okay, imagine here SAI is not there, okay? So, who is working TCS? So, based on the ID, you can go to the table, the parent table, right, guys, like this. Okay. So, in what to do now? Another point, right? What I'm saying now? So, what I'm saying here, if you don't take the because the students only, these people only learning the course and getting the job, right? That's why we don't take the employee name here. Just imagine now. We don't take the employee name. So imagine here, employee name is not there. Okay. Now, who got the job in TCS? In that case, so TCS, we filter. What is there now? 1001. So who is 1001? 101. Who is 101? Then Sai. Answer here. Okay. Suppose here, Sai is there. Here, Sai is there. If I said that, uh, who is working in TCS? Sai. Here, only answer is there. In single query, the answer over. Got it right? That's why. So, what do I do? I just remove the which column? EMP name column, right? So, tell me now how to move the EMP name column. Huh? You can alter, right? Or simply, I take the all that also given, right? So, drop table. What table name? Employee. Employee, employee data. Employee data, right? Now, I create the table. Without water. Uh, like this. Employee number, company name, salary, location, and uh, CNO. Okay. Uh, right. Now, in this one, in this one, uh, I am giving the data. Okay. Right. Now, next. Uh, Employee ID 10,002. The company name is Vipro. Uh, Salary is 30,000. Same location. The ID is uh, 1,002. Next, uh, employee ID is uh, company ID, right? right? My employee ID is. Uh, Infosys. Some 15,000.
और
Hola, ¿cómo va? Right. So, what's first table now? Students data, second table, post data, and uh, the last one is uh, okay, employee data, right? right? Employee data. Employee data. Yes. Now, all of you observe here. All of you observe. So, in this case, the same student uh, first learning the course, learning the course, and then getting job in the some company, right? Some company guys here. So, in this case, so Sai, take the Sai case. Sai, what's the number here? 101, learning which course here? Python course. And got the job, which location in a TCS, Hyderabad, he got the job. Next one, na, Nani. Nani, which course he learned? Nani, what's the ID here? 102. And here, 102 is the right. Which course he learned? He learned Django. At the same time, he learned PHP also. And he learned, which one? Tableau. He learned three courses. And got the job. Which company here? In the Vipro company. Next one, take the Akila, right? Ah, which course she learned? She learned a flask, only flask, right? And she got the job. Which location? In Infosys, Bangalore, right? Infosys, Bangalore. Same like this, remaining also. Suppose Harika is there. What's the course of Harika? 104, right? Uh, 104. What's the course? Java, only one course, right? And uh, she got job uh, where? In a uh, CTS in Bangalore with uh, 40,000 rupees. Next one. Uh, so Rajesh, right? Uh, Rajesh, which course you learned? Which course, uh, Rajesh? Okay, uh, C++. And I uh, got the job? Uh, no, you didn't get the job. Only you just learned the course. Still, you uh, didn't get the job, right? Next one, Rohan, right? Rohan, what's the number? Uh, what's the course you're learning? No course, uh, just a BTEC over, no course, no job. For whom? For the Rohan. Next to Hasni. Any course? Uh? Yes, course yeah. is there. DevOps, she learned. Uh. DevOps course over, but uh, she didn't get the job, right? Next yeah. one. Huh? Job is there? Ah, sorry. Which one? She got the job. Where? In the IBM, right? IBM in Chennai. Correct. Next one. What's the name, Mr. Vanna? Vijay. Vijay, Ah, no? uh, Vijay. So, what's the course of Vijay? AWS. Right? AWS learning. Okay, AWS. And uh, he got the job in uh, NTH. What salary? Ah, I think about good salary, right? <laughs> Next one, uh, Pallavi. What's the course of Pallavi here? No. no course, right? So Rohan, no course. Pallavi also no course, no job for both. Mr. Komali, which course? Uh, no course. Akash, also no course. These four people, who are those? Rohan, Pallavi. Next, uh, Pallavi, Komali, and uh, Akash. This four done the BTEC with good percentage. No, Akash, less percentage, right? But over BTEC, 
but they didn't join any course and uh, they didn't get the job like this. Okay. Now we write the queries on three tables. On three tables, right? Uh, in the question, they will not specify on three tables and support like that. They give the question. As for question, we have to imagine do we require only one table or two tables or three tables like this? As we know, display and the filter parts, right? The question like this, just all of you observe here. The question, the question like this, uh, write, a, write a query to display or uh, to get the uh, all employee names, uh, sorry, all students, right? Uh, students, uh, students names, uh, students names, uh, who got job in TCS, okay? Who got job, job in, uh, in TCS, that's all. This is a question, guys. That's a question. Now, in this case, all of you observe here, stop writing. All of stop writing here. So in this case, we have to find out uh, two things. Uh, which one? Uh, display part, filter part, okay? Here, what I want to display? Uh, I want display. I want to get, get me display, right? Which one? Uh, all students' names I want to display. This is which one? Uh, this is called now display part, right? Display part, guys. This is the display part. Display part. Right. Next one now. Next one now. What is the filter? Based on what? I want to display all the students' names. Uh, who got job uh, in where? In TCS, right? Uh, who got job in TCS? This is the filter part. That is the which one now? Okay. Filter. Filter part, right? Uh, okay. Filter part, guys. Display part and the filter part. That's all. Now, now we have to think of. Uh, Display part uh, belongs to which table? Filter part belongs to which table? I want to display all students' names. I want to display all student names, right? It belongs to which table now? Which table? Yeah. Students, right? Uh, students data. All of you have to here. Students uh, data table. Okay. Next one now. Uh, next one now. Uh, uh, job in TCS. Job in uh, TCS. Okay. TCS. Uh, which table TCS available? Which table all of you? In employee table, we have the value TCS, right? Okay, job TCS. Now, let's check which one? Employee, employee data, right? Employee data. So now, we know two tables. We know what is the display table, and we know what is the filter table, right? Now, let's try to think that uh, these two are having the any common column or not. These two tables are having the Direct any column, common column or not, right? Observe here. Any common column is there between these two tables directly. Just forget about this table. Now, by seeing the students' data, employee data, any common column is there. There is no common column. There is no common column, right? So the common column is like this. First, uh, okay, employee data to which one uh, students' data. Uh, from there, sorry, post data, from there to where? From there to students' data like this. Means uh, if you want to reach from employee to student, uh, student uh, you have to go through which one? Uh? First, uh, employee to course, then uh, course to student, you have to go. Means uh, so first, uh, employee to uh, course, then from course to I'm going to the student table. Directly not possible because uh, no common column between uh, employee and the student's data. I love you. So which table should use here compulsorily? Compulsory, we should use the course data. Even though the course data is not using for filter purpose, not using for display purpose. Yes or no? I am using the student's data for display purpose and employee data for filter purpose. This table not using for filter display, but this is used because of it is having the common column to make the path to make the path from starting to ending place. Yes or no? All of right? Yes. Now, now what to do here? First of all, write the query for this table, which table employee data. From there, next query for the, which one, course data, and then uh, last one, which one, students data. Now three queries are there. How many queries are? Three queries. All of clear? Right. Now observe here, all of you. So in these two, what is common column now? 
in these two what is the common column now so here cno and here course number over next up next up yes and over on the student number like this all of right now anyone can say this query in this case how many queries required ah uh, so between these two tables uh, no that common column right that's why so employee data to ah uh, which one now course right course data ah uh, from there students data all of the we go to the employee data to course data course data from course data to students data we have to travel this is the this is the starting place uh, this is the which one now destination place this is the via right we see in the bus in the train via is there yes or no via means what bus is which i am via right uh, going through source is different uh, destination is different uh, to go to destination we go through this place that's called the uh, uh, we say via in english will be ia same here also okay this is the source source means the starting place for starting place and uh, this is what i want to display but to go to from here to here no direct route that's why we go to the okay this one to course data from there to which one uh, students data like this so here in this case now all of observe here in this case uh, we need uh, how many queries now three queries required how many queries are uh, three queries uh, so this is the first query all of observe stop writing so here read the okay nr query guys nr query based on the that filter and display right nr query and here we read the okay one more nr query nr query to keep the bracket for this one this are keep the bracket up to up to here keep the bracket right all of observe now now next one what take here now to take the other one outer right to take the outer outer query and we take the bracket completely up to last one now and the back the bracket uh, is closing here that's all now all of you observe here so first of all it executes it executes first okay some output will come the output go to this one input uh. next uh, it executes uh. it executes uh. some output will come right that the output as input here finally it executes uh, and the uh, display as uh, whatever it required other uh, stuff so inner query again inner query and the outer okay. query okay all of you all right so these two tables having the common column at the same time uh, these two having the common column right common column now so what's question now write a query to get all students uh, names who got job in tcs right who can say the first nr query here anyone can say this first nr query ah uh, select the select our display select the tell me now which one select the cno because common column which one here cno tell me now select cno from employee data where ah uh, where company name ah uh, company name equal to what right can i write that so tcs tcs okay tcs if you execute it if you execute it what happens here wherever company name tcs is there that the yes, cno is the output okay tell me now what output here in this case uh, Ah, one thousand one, one thousand one is the result of uh, this entire query. Which one na? One thousand one. Now, so this all replaced by what here? Replaced by one thousand one. That's all. One thousand one na replaced by entire query. Okay, right. Now imagine now query is there. Now next uh, next query guys. Next query tell me now. So what is there now? C N O right? C N O is there. Ah, next query. Next one na. So now we got the one thousand one right? Now this query I want to tell me now. Ah, select a. Ah, tell me now. Select a what? Ah, S N O na. Ah, S N O. S N O. From where? From right course data. Where? 
where ah uh, where c n o what is there what is matching here which one na course number right course number equal to r we can take the in all right and bracket starting there and here the bracket uh, ending here over ah uh, now so what output coming here s n o which one na no? so 1001 coming and comparing here and uh, what's coming now 101 so s n o compare the student number and display what here student name and tell me now what query now which one select the student name from which table from students data ah uh, where student number take the inna ah uh, inna now take the bracket for this one okay we take the bracket here starting bracket here and uh, and uh, which one ending bracket uh, we take here the ending bracket this is all taken again uh, like this now all of them are here so if i execute it if i execute the inner query what would it come tell me now what is the result of it saina where our pcs is there that uh, cno i want display which one uh, where our pcs is there that cno i want display which one uh, 1001 right 1001 means the result of this entire query is which one 1001 is the result of entire query 1001 that's all okay result of the query 1001 now select a sno from course data where course number 1001 so where our course 1001 is there course 1001 is there i am selecting what here sno now what's coming now ah uh, means here result of uh, result of this all result of this all right which one one at one okay one at one one at one the bracket right like this one at one ah uh, next one select student name from students data where student number one at one so what is where is the one at one that name i want to display what the name sai right so very simple guys you have to remember the link between these two tables all of them CNO course number. These two we have to use a uh, one is a uh, in filter, one is in selector. Filter selector. Next again, uh, these two again. Uh, one is a uh, in filter, other one uh, in the selector like this. All of right. So these two columns we have to use uh, and uh, these two columns we have to use uh, whatever display, whatever filter. But this is the common matching uh, compulsory. Suppose I ask you display uh, the college names. branches of the people who got job in tcs same here filter is there and here display is there how to go again na uh, same we have to go like this only ah uh, i am saying that display company names are uh, of nani now here filter is there okay here display is there display is there again how to come here same like this we have to come the same process just uh, what to filter dis uh, changing display changing uh, but the uh, same path uh, path is the same path allow for okay right so at the first question keep reading the sub groups on three tables uh Right. What's the question now? What's the question? Write a query. Write the query to get uh, all students' uh, names who got job in the TCS. In TCS. Tell me now the first sub query. Allow tell me now. Ah, tell me now here. Stop right and tell me. Select the C number. In third table, what is the match? Give me the column names. What is there? Select C N O. Para much one na. Employee data. Where? Where? 
Company huh? name equal to Atta. Yes, yes. Now, so, you know, over. Now, outside. Select. Yes, and go. From. It was not. Course data. Where. Where. Course number. In. Uh, now, take the bracket of this all. Right. Now, outer query. Select what display? Student, student name from stable students data where ah uh, uh, where student number in uh, now take the bracket here and close the bracket take this one now uh, that's all now I run this one I run this one. What is the answer here? Psi is the answer. Okay. So for this question, to just uh, make the same this one as it is, uh, display part uh, three tables like this. Uh, 